Welcome back to DXB Today, something of a medical and health tourism special for you this evening. And to that end, let's introduce our next guest. Why? Because, well, truly a founder shaping the landscape of medical tourism right here through his goal-oriented leadership practices. Please welcome uh, the one and only Hamdan Mohamed <laughs> Al Mashidi, who joins us now live here uh, on the show. Hamdan, thank you so much indeed for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. Very thank you so you much. To join us here. Uh, and of course, the Al Mashidi Medical Tourism uh, organization that you have set up is looking to do exactly what we've been talking about throughout the entirety of this show as well to, sure. to create the transparency, to create the, to, to create the infrastructure, to keep, create the boundaries for medical tourism. Where are we at? Have we achieved the goals yet? We are exceeding the goals here in UAE or in uh, Dubai actually. Uh, uh, coming from a new country in medical tourism, uh, Dubai have uh, jumped, didn't walk. We jumped uh, the plans and we are now doing a huge uh, business in medical tourism. Uh, in 2022, actually Dubai uh, received more than 674,000 medical tourists, wow. which uh, they spent more than 990 million dirhams. So this is a huge amount and we are talking about uh, 2022. So uh, we exceeded, and I'm talking only about Dubai, I'm not talking about yeah. Abu Dhabi and the rest of the Emirates. Uh, we've done a huge thing. We learned from the best. We actually started medical tourism a bit late. There's uh, more uh, countries, like, let's say like Thailand, Switzerland, uh, Germany. They done this long uh, mm. before us, but we actually learned all of this and we brought all the best here. We brought the best doctors. We brought the best uh, technology, the latest technology. We brought uh, doctors from around the world to serve and uh, actually we are in multinational city you know uh, <coughs> if you are coming from brazil or you are coming from india or wherever country you are coming from you will find someone speaking your language uh, uae is so safe you can walk as a man or as a woman at the middle of the night and nobody will stop you and this is one of the factors that people will fly to dubai to get uh, procedures mm -hmm. and we are actually doing so much procedures some people they thought Dubai is doing only uh, small procedures but we are actually doing most uh, critical most advanced uh, uh, procedures that the world is writing about it. Mm -hmm. now, I know that we are we do have some of the best procedures, some of the best doctors, some of the best specialists but for somebody who's coming to the UAE, someone who's coming to Dubai to do some medical tourism is there any guidance you can give them on how to navigate the best doctor, the best hospital, the best clinic for their specific needs? See, this is where uh, we are at. Al Murshidi Medical Tourism, actually I launched it uh, nine years ago and my first office was in Thailand. Uh, Thailand was one of the leading countries in medical tourism, especially for GCC. And we learned a lot from Thailand, we learned a lot from everybody else and now here, the patient, they don't know who's the best doctor for them. They don't know where's the best uh, doctor, uh, the best uh, hospital, the price and things like this. So this is our rule. We will actually contact multiple specialists and we'll find the best answers and we will share three, four answers for them. Medical opinions from the best specialists for their needs. And then we will do everything from the airport to the airport. They want tickets, uh, airport uh, transport, they need a helper while they are getting the treatments. Uh, you know, certain countries, they have certain needs. Uh, GCC people, they want uh, furnished apartment. Uh, UK people, they want hotel apartment. So we, we can do all of this. Uh, we receive you from the airport by our cars. We take you to the uh, hospital, from the hospital to the hotel and between this, you want uh, medical or travel insurance, we will provide you. You want eSIM card, we will provide you. You want car with the driver the whole day, we will provide you. And beside this, before you travel, you are getting the medical opinion, which is very important because people <coughs> will know how much it will cost me, who's the doctor, what kind of procedure they will do. And all of these things, you will get it before you actually come to UAE. Excellent. 
Fadan, mashallah, we know each other a long time ago, especially true, when it's true. come to overseas treatment of local Emiratis. But can you tell us more, Hamdan, when it comes to post-service? What type of report and document which you will make sure that tourists will go back and take it home? What makes your center or your company different than any others? See, uh, one thing we do, uh, actually, we do so much services than the hospital that we take care of the patient. And one of the things you are asking about we actually uh, follow up with the patient after the post-treatment. Uh, when they go to their country, we actually send them flowers. We send them whatever they like. Yeah. After the major surgeries, we are the one taking care of them, not the hospital. Mm -hmm. So we know what they need. Uh, we know their address. We contact them. We actually uh, follow up with their procedures, and we will contact the doctor here, and we'll tell them how is the patient's doing, and if they need a follow-up, if they need Sorry. video calls, we will arrange all of that. And, and Hamdan, please, can you elaborate more when we talk about medical and health tourism? Are you confined only to the medical service or you still can extend to other type when it's come to well, uh, retreat or attending medical conferences? Uh, Do you have these services yes. within your umbrella? See, we, we are sending patients now to 16 countries. Yes. So uh, anything they need, uh, medical, cosmetics, uh, well-being, uh, they want uh, any procedures, we will uh, do it for them. They will just go, they want uh, to lose weight, we will do that. They want just to relax, we will do that. Yeah. And as we say, we have personalized uh, services. For example, VVIPs, even my staff, they don't know about them, they don't know uh, who are they, we, I will take care of them myself. Mm -hmm. I go and receive ministers, sheikhs, uh, uh, like royal families, I do myself. I take them to many places that they want privacy. So we do this. Uh, but also there's people who would like the cheapest yeah. uh, treatment, cheapest uh, country or specific things you cannot find in this place. We will take yeah. it and we'll and, do and, it to and them. What about Mr. Hamdan? Can you elaborate more when we talk about Ras Al Khaimah, about Dubai, Abu Dhabi? We know that each emirate has its own excellence of centers in a specific area. True. Can you guide the, the audience about this part specifically? Uh, see, if, you, if we talk about uh, UA in general, uh, as Al Murshidi Medical Tourism, we have contract with almost all the private hospitals in UA. So uh, if the patient want price, if the patient want service, if the patient want specific doctors, some doctors they are uh, cheaper to operate if we send them, for example, to Ras Al Khaimah yes. or to a cheaper hospital. But we are not going down with the quality. Indeed. We are t uh, going down with the hospital, certain hospitals. They have higher uh, like pricing. Uh, the other thing is uh, some hospital, they specialize in certain things. So when we say cosmetics, we know who's the best doctor. Yes. So we will take you to, the, to that doctor. If you need knee replacement, uh, we know how many doctors here and we know the prices. So we'll tell you in this hospital, I, I don't know if I can name some, but <laughs> in this hospital, the price is like this and yeah. other hospital is like yeah. that. What, yeah. about, what about the physician if they have any complication or any case against them? Are you aware about it? Are you following the system? We, we, we are actually getting uh, uh, every Thursday update about everything. The market, uh, the the procedures, the new things, anything happening in the world. Excellent. My team, uh, every Thursday at 1 p.m., we uh, are getting all well, of this. We certainly <laughs> have yeah. so much to talk about. The work you're doing is absolutely amazing. Hamdan, thank you thank, so much for being here so to today. And before we say goodbye to Her Excellency, I do believe that you have a little surprise for her, right, Ash? Yes, Dr. Mariam, uh, you are no stranger to the DXP in 60 quiz. Yeah. Uh, you've done this before, mm -hmm. so I'm sure you can do this with your eyes closed and hands but tight. Please some help in case <laughs> <laughs> this is all about you so I can't help you with that all right so you need to answer uh, as many questions as possible within 60 seconds are you ready your time is three two one let's go if you weren't a geneticist I'm not sure how to pronounce that what would you be doing plastic surgery your first job uh, mother your motto in life and in work my daughter a superpower you wish you had uh, stay young uh, your greatest accomplishment in the medical field? Uh, being uh, one of the main element enforcing uh, pre-marital investigation and initiating the first pilot uh, 
research for gene mapping of UAE back in 2007 for 11,282 Emiratis, age group between 18 to 28. Wonderful. Your go-to restaurant in Dubai? Uh, my mother kitchen. <laughs> you are good at this. A podcast recommendation. Uh, I'm not so fan with podcasts. I'm fan with books. Okay. Yeah. Um, your most you the most used app on your phone. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we've run short of time, but I'm going to ask you one last question. It's a bit of a redundant one because you are Emirati, but why Dubai? Oh, Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, Dubai is unique, and, and I believe what makes Dubai different is again the 200 nationalities where we, it's not uh, propaganda that we are living together in intimacy. And I will always say that what makes Maryam Matar different, I have a great experience and uh, daily contact with people who's coming from well-developed, structured country. And I have it on, at my table. So Dubai is different because because it's Dubai, it's a very hard question, you know? <laughs> and especially me coming from Hatta, yeah. it is the mountain area of Dubai, and to be leaded by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid and the founder, Sheikh Rashid himself, you can see the visionary and the path. And in Dubai, what makes us different that we know exactly where we will be in 2071. And it is very rare to find country or city who knows where they are going. And you know where exactly we will be because this is where you can come back anytime. Thank you so much for your time today. Great to see Thank you very much indeed for joining us thank you this evening. But thanks for being our guest, Gareth. Thanks also to Hamza thank you for so joining much. us as well. Um, the three of us aren't going anywhere there. Yep. We have to stick around. Why? Because we've got plenty more still to come. Armand is waiting for one <laughs> final performance to see us out. Stay with us.